Hi everyone, in this video, I'll be using the Elgato 4K X to capture 4K gaming videos. I'll be using a gaming computer as a source running through the Elgato 4K X to capture the video signal and a MacBook Pro as a recording device. This video will cover a lot. I'll go through the whole unboxing, connecting everything up, explore the software's screen flow and OBS for Mac, document any difficulties I encounter, like stuttering frame rate, and when the device gets warm, then explain how an external capture card works. And finally, showing the end results. Whether I'm satisfied with or not, you'll have to find out. So let's begin with the unboxing. The first thing you may have noticed is that the external capture card's design is identical to the Elgato HD60X, which is limited to 1080p60 capture, while this one can capture up to 4K at 144 frames per second. And it's compatible with PS5, Xbox Series S and X, Windows, Mac, iPad, Nintendo Switch, and even Steam Deck. Oh, and even an iPhone. Moreover, it's compatible with HDMI 2.1 and USB 3.2 Type-C. You get smooth gameplay with zero screen tearing with variable fresh rate pass-through. And you get all the necessary cables, except one, I'll mention that later in the video. The box has a good design and color, but the tear away packaging is a turn off. A slide open option would be ideal for resale and preserve presentation. I won't be using their 4K capture utility software as I prefer ScreenFlow and OBS for Mac. Believe it or not, I used to use the old Elgato Game Capture HD and their early software to record PS3 games. I wasn't a big fan of the software, but I was okay with it. And safety instructions. There is more hidden inside. Obviously, we have the HDMI cable, but this is an 8K HDMI 2.1 cable. Very nicely braided and high quality. Nice logo and gold plated. Also, USB 3.2 Type-C cable. Also, very nicely braided and high quality. Anyway, on to the card. It's small, simple, unobtrusive, and lightweight. It's in a black matte finish. It has a clean and professional look. 3.5 millimeter jack for separate audio source from like a separate microphone mixer on off light. It's kind of shaped like a futuristic flying car. I'll go over all the ports and their functions. I'll be honest, I just now know that Augato is a division of Corsair Memory Incorporated. Let's now compare its size to a magic mouse, to a magic trackpad, to an apple card that soon will have different bank label, to an AirPod Gen 3 case, to a mechanical pencil, and to an iPhone mini. Alright, let's start setting up the 4KX. My gaming device will be the source, and my MacBook Pro will be the recorder. And the 4KX will be in between to capture the video signal. We're going to use the provided 8K 2.1 HDMI cable and the USB 3.2 Type-C cable and an additional HDMI cable since one was missing from the box. The provided 8K 2.1 HDMI cable is to be used to connect one end to the HDMI in on the 4KX and the other end from the HDMI out on the source because you want to transmit the high bandwidth signal and the high refresh rates possible since the provided cable appears to be of very good quality. And next, with your own HDMI cable, one end is to be plugged into the HDMI out on the 4KX and the other end to your TV or monitor. Normally, I would have all the cables and the capture card hidden for organization, but for this presentation, I'll just have everything right in front of the camera.
And finally, the provided USB 3.2 Type-C cable is to be connected from the 4KX into the computer or your recording device. In this case, it is my MacBook Pro. Of course, allow any prompts that appear on the screen. The status LED should light up when connected to the computer. Moving forward in time, I'm using screen flow first to test the 4KX. In recording resolution, make sure you don't want to use the automatic setting because it seems to default to 720p every time. So select 3040 by 2160 for 4K. And don't forget to enable or add audio recording for El Cato 4KX. You'll find the option under microphones or in that section. I used to be worried about this no signal screen, but it seems to show up almost every time you launch a new game. Looking at OBS for Mac, it's a free and open source professional broadcasting application that you can download like I am doing right now. Despite being free, OBS offers a surprising amount of functionality, but my focus will be solely on recording gameplay. OBS is also known for being well optimized for Mac OS. It takes advantage of features like metal or smooth performance and integrates well with Mac ecosystem. While powerful, OBS have a bit of a learning curve, especially for beginners, as you will see. There are many settings and options to explore. However, there are numerous tutorials and resources available online to help you get started, if you need it. The DMT file isn't needed anymore, so you can trash it. Make sure to allow anything related to OBS in your Mac settings. Again, I will be focusing on recording with this application. I'll set the base canvas resolution to match my monitor's resolution. I'll keep the FPS as is and I'll change it later if I want. For output, I'll set the recording path to a folder on my external SSD drive. I'm going with MP4 for the recording format since it works seamlessly with Final Cut Pro without needing any conversion. However, keep in mind that MP4 files can't be recovered if your recording gets interrupted, while the default MKV files can. For video to capture high resolution footage, I'll configure both the base canvas resolution and the output scaled resolution to 4K. In the Sources panel, you'll need to add a video capture device and give it a name. However, OBS might actually detect the Elgato automatically, so keep an eye out for that. Of course, allow it. And there you go. As you can see, there's so many selecting to do but it's a very powerful and versatile application. So right here, I forgot to record how I add an audio source. Here's how. Again, in the Sources panel, select the plus icon and look for Audio Input Capture and find the related Elgato 4KX audio. Since I already added it, you would see in Adding Existing and I'll cancel out. And here you can see both video and audio of the Elgato 4KX. And you see the audio mixer moving on screen. And here's an issue. The frame rate of this animation seems to be stuttering. So, I just rebooted the computer. 
And then I managed to achieve smooth frame rates during recording. I should have freed up some RAM on my MacBook, I guess. Now, something to consider, the device does get a little warm. You might want to place it on a well-ventilated surface to help prevent possible overheating. However, I haven't had any real issues myself, even when recording for long periods. Now, even though this is near the end of the video, just in case, for those who are new and interested in capturing gameplay, the way it works is that the Elgato 4KX uses a technology called pass-through that allows the video signal to be sent to both your gaming monitor and your computer simultaneously. This means you can play your game without any lag or graphical issues while the 4KX is capturing the footage in the background on your computer. So I am satisfied. Elgato 4KX is a game changer. My gameplay recording are crystal clear and the VRR pass-through keeps everything buttery smooth. Now this is the end of the video. I hope you find this video interesting and useful. So I want to say thank you and I hope you come back for the next video.